Hey everyone, this is Michael from Bright Musical Circuits. This is BMC 118, the graphic envelope generator. Uh, this is a uh, envelope generator based on a step sequencer, or it's a step sequencer designed to work like an envelope generator. And uh, so I, I've got a keyboard that's controlling it. It's doing the cutoff of this filter. Um, so I'm pressing a key and you can see it's going through the sequence one time. And let's move these up a little bit. So this will just be instant attack and then uh, decay with a little bit of oddness to it. And I can control the speed with this knob. And I can make these uh, steps uh, smooth out a little bit with the slew knob. Uh, make bigger differences. Uh, I can then input uh, a control voltage to control our speed too, so we can go have faster envelopes when we're going uh, with higher pitches. And then uh, these toggles here are setting the loop points for sustain loops. Uh, so I'm going to redo these a little bit. And I'm just gonna set this one point. So as long as my gate is high on the input, it's just gonna hold that point. And we have trigger and gates. So if I hit a trigger while it's sustaining, it's gonna reset. Uh, and then we can also set it to go over multiple points when it's sustaining and have a little loop where it'll be a little LFO built into your envelope. That can be set up right now. When it gets to the last step, it's going to make the first. If I hit this toggle, it's now going back and forth. Uh, and then also, we can set it to be just an LFO without any trigger inputs. Uh, you can't hear anything because that VCA is not triggering. You can also set it up to be used as a sequencer with an external clock. So uh, our trigger input in that mode is going to uh, become our clock input. Uh, and then I'm going to set it to LFO so I don't need to have a gate to turn it on for this. The reverse toggle is still able to adjust that movement when we're in clock mode. And we're still setting our loop points with these. So we can set it to just hold one. And we can control uh, the length of it with our toggles here. Um, so yeah, that's what this module does. It's one that um, I had an old version of my system that I built a long time ago, and I'm glad I finally adapted it to Eurorack. Uh, it's a very different kind of design from what I normally do. Uh, like this has, I actually have printed panels for this because I didn't want to be hand drilling these slots for everyone who wanted to build one. 
Uh, and it's using these, you know, sliders with LEDs, uh, which is a more expensive part than I usually would design around, but it's kind of necessary, I think, for this design. Uh, I tried one with regular sliders and other LEDs and just the panel. It was, it was hard. Everything felt a little cramped with that. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy this module.